It's a proud cat lover. Go on, Roxanne. And this is my little baby right here. I wasn't real sure if he'd be able to spread his wings or not. It looks like he's trying. But he hatched out of the cocoon. He had some difficulties. The cocoon's still attached to his abdomen. I'm going to have to see if I can help him get it off because I've had to do that before. But luckily it looks like he's not going to be deformed. Hopefully he'll be able to be released. Not real sure. I was going to keep him in my butterfly house as a pet if I had to just because I really don't want to release a tomato hornworm <laughs> moth just because they're extremely destructive to tomato plants. But at the same time if he's going to be deformed there's no reason for me to kill him in my kill jar because I'm not going to be able to use him. So I thought, you know, if I had him as a pet, at least his life would be a little bit longer before he just died naturally. But it looks like might be able to use him if he spreads his wings correctly, but we'll see. So anyway, let's see if he'll... There we go, kind of, uh, can't really see him very much. The phone doesn't like to focus with the net. But yeah, I'll show you guys um, when it's, when he or she, whatever it is, you know, when it's done folding its wings out and everything, I'll get out and hold it and stuff. Right now I don't really want to because where it's busy folding, I mean, spreading out its wings and everything, and my cats are in here. And that'd just be stupid. Because <laughs> we all know what would happen if it decided to fly and I couldn't grab it in time yeah we'd have an annihilated moth that would be correct so anyway thanks for watching guys see you in the next video